Josh Raven here with The Daily Dot in Atlanta at E-League Week 2, joined by Daps from Optic, coming off the back of that win against Selfless, meaning that they do secure third place in the group. Uh, we'll first talk about that game, with Selfless' performance in the group, some saying it might have been a close one. You guys pretty much demolished them on map one, how did that happen? We started off well, which is something we've struggled with in this tournament. We've Against G2, we won both pistols on nuke, but got eco directly after, which is almost worse than losing pistols sometimes. But we just started off well. We played really good T side. We didn't do anything special. We just defaulted most of the match and just kind of bled them dry and just yeah, just did basic stuff and we hit our shots and that was it. Obviously, at that point, after you beat them so badly on map one, it was kind of confirmed that this what the seedings would be. Mm -hmm. Did you know about that uh, in in between the games? I assume. I didn't know that it was head-to-head -head rounds. I thought it might have been overall rounds, so that's why we really wanted to win both matches. But in the end of the day, the BO3 is the most important thing. And in that BO3, you will be playing against NIP, uh, currently perhaps regarded as one of the strongest teams in the world. Uh, defeated you guys earlier in the group. What are your thoughts going into that match tomorrow? Um, our whole team wanted to play... Actually, I was the only one that wanted to play G2 more, but... Uh, everyone else wanted to play NIP more. They play more structured than G2 does, so if we're hitting our shots and we're not doing careless stuff, we could win the BO3. Do you think it's a bit of an unpredictability factor about G2 that makes them unappealing to play against, whereas with NIP you maybe know what you're getting? Yeah, my team kind of compares G2 to the, like, the TSM of Europe. So when we play TSM and NA, you, you have no idea what they're going to do, and if they're hitting shots, you're going to lose. But with NIP, you know what they're going to do, but they're also really coordinated and really good, and they have good flashes, smokes, executes. So that's something that I think we actually struggle with more sometimes, but it's hard to say. Like We didn't really care, to be honest, who we played. We knew we were going to play one of the Europeans. So. Addressing current team, you brought in Mixwell recently. Uh, before that, there were allegations obviously thrown around by former player Shazam. I know you've spoken out about it before, but let's talk about the team dynamic now with Mixwell coming in. Uh, what is the team dynamic like? Is it improved? Yeah, I mean, if you look at our results, it's improved. There is still some little like tension sometimes if we're losing, but in terms of overall atmosphere, it, it is improved. And what made you guys look towards Mixwell as a pickup? Obviously, he kind of came out of nowhere. No one was expecting him to sign out of anyone. Uh, what made you guys pick him up? Um, scouting. So we weren't sure who we wanted. North American options are limited due to contracts, obviously. And we weren't looking to do any buyouts. So went over to Europe, scouted out. There was about like 10 names that I was given by someone at HLTV. Watch demos of each person. Some people I watch more of than others because I could tell if they were good or not. And Mixwell was the main guy that stood out. After I saw that he was a good player, I added him on Steam, asked him if he wanted to talk about the possibility of joining, and just talking to him was the selling point as well.